Hey, people, welcome. When it comes to my channel, the only way is up. Speaking of, have you ever heard of Yaz in the plastic population? That group is most well known for their song, The Only Way Is Up, obviously. It was originally written in 1980 by George Jackson and Johnny Henderson, and it was sung by Otis Clay. It didn't do too well when it first released. However, eight years later, a little group called Yaz and the Plastic Population came along and did their own version of the song. And it was a hit. That song was a chart topper in a lot of European countries, in America and Australia. Um, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head, but it should be displayed um, on screen here somewhere. They sold a lot of records, which means that the vinyl that I have with me isn't rare or lost, thankfully. What do I think of this song? Well, personally, it's alright. It's not my favorite kind of song, but, you know, the more I listen to it, the more it's kind of growing on me in a way. It's not my top 10 favorite, of course, but I can definitely see why people enjoy it. It has lots of energy, you can dance to it, the lyrics are catchy, and it's about love and facing life's challenges. So, of course, it's going to be popular. But who is Yaz? Yasmin Evans, the titular Yaz, was born in Shepherd's Bush, England on May 19, 1960. She was real good at sports ball in school, she was a catwalk model, and she got her start with a band called The Biz. Her first big hit was when she sang in Doctor in the House by Cold Cut. Not to be confused with Coldplay. She went solo with a label called Big Life, which so happened to be owned by her husband, Jazz Summers. Where have I heard that before? But anyway, through that label, she released The Only Way Is Up, and the rest is history. After her success, she recorded a few more songs here and there, and uh, they did pretty well, for the most part. But then she started thinking about her life choices, and where she was headed. She was addicted to alcohol, she was divorced from her husband, Jazz Summers, and she couldn't handle her success. She was missing something in her life, and it wasn't until her friend suggested going to her church did she find what she was looking for. She found Christ. In 2008, Yasmin Evans released an album called Running Back to You. If you couldn't tell from the title, it's a Christian album. She currently resides in Spain and is an active member of the Calahonda Baptist Church. She goes around singing for people while also talking about her faith and the goodness of Christ. And uh, she uses her influence to teach others about Jesus and how he can change their lives and all that other good stuff. It's helping a lot of people, apparently, which is a nice thing. I'm glad that she didn't let her troubles get her down and that she's using her fame in a positive way. So this story had some ups, it had some downs, it had some twists and turns, but it had a nice ending. And I pray it stays that way. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to be doing more of this in the future, so if you want to stay tuned for that, subscribe to this channel. If you want. It's whatever. Y'all have a wonderful day and peace out.